This is John Costa, the editor of Citizen's Eye, and we're here in the body shop in the High Cross, and some of you may uh, recognise this. You have made history poster here. It was a big high-profile campaign run by the body shop um, earlier in the year, and I'm now going to speak to Deanne, the manager. Hello, how are you? Hi, very well, thank you. Good. Well, thank you very much for agreeing to talk to us, and like I said, we should be showing this film at the International Day Against Hate Crime yep. at Phoenix Square on the 28th of October. So tell us a little bit about um, what you can about the campaign, and, and you know, from your point of view, how successful was it? Well, we started the campaign early 2010, and basically in over 50 countries across the world where the body shop has stores, we um, endeavoured to collect as many signatures as we could um, for this campaign, which is all about ending sex trafficking of children and young people. And we're working alongside a charity called ECPAT. Um, and together, we wanted to present these petitions to the governments of those countries to try and um, get change and actually change the laws on protecting children who are involved in trafficking. So that's now, the fundamentals. Of the now, here in Leicester, in the High Cross, you've got quite a prominent position here in, in yeah. the Lower Mall. Um, what sort of feedback do you get from customers coming in? Because obviously it's one of those taboo subjects, really. So to, it's quite brave of an organisation to put it right out there and have, an, uh, have like an international campaign, if you like. And, and it was quite heavily branded in your shops, wasn't it? And in the window and stuff, not tucked away at the back. So No, absolutely. I mean, the body shop are always very forthright with their campaigns. They always have been throughout history. And I think this campaign really did actually shock the people of Leicester because it didn't seem relevant to them and it didn't seem, you know, it didn't seem like something that they could relate to in any way and actually once we explained that trafficking takes place in every country, every community, every town, in the world practically, I think it really opened up their eyes and they were absolutely happy to get behind the campaign. So we collected thousands and thousands of signatures, so you know, thank you to the people of Leicester for getting behind the campaign. Now you had got quite a lot of media coverage as well, didn't you, during the, during the time you were running here in Leicester? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we did. We uh, worked with the Leicester Mercury to actually um, get a photograph in the paper and to try and encourage people to come into the store to sign the petitions into both stores in Leicester. Um, but we also had a lot of national media and we had lots of um, celebrities who got behind the campaign and um, lots of other companies and people who got behind the campaign as well. So it was a huge nationwide campaign. Brilliant. Now you were saying it went off to the, the UN last week as well, is that right? Yeah, well we closed the collections in March 2000, and, well this year, 2011, and we actually handed over the petition to David Cameron in May, um, where we did a huge um, demonstration outside Downing Street, which was really successful. But what we did is we collated the um, over 7 million signatures that we collected worldwide and actually went to Geneva last week, and that was a combination of people from head office, international, and also store managers from the UK who went along to hand over, um, and with just such positive response, they're really taking that on board and um, are endorsing it and trying to get behind it to get governments to make change. Now, it says on your, your poster here that we started filming at the beginning there, yeah. at, at least 11 governments already have been inspired to act out of the 50. Is yeah. this kind of um, uh, something you're trying to do across all of the 50 countries, get some sort of impact and, and get some sort of government support for it? That's right, we're trying to get the government to change the laws and it's all about um, providing a system of guardianship for the children who've been involved in trafficking. Um, so the 11 countries, it's not the UK at the moment, so we're still working on David Cameron, but many of the countries across Europe, I think the 11 are in Europe, who are, have changed the laws and are committed to changing the laws and protecting children. Brilliant. Deanne, thanks very much.